something so interesting that I noticed this time in traveling across the country long distance to a completely new landscape because I live in an immersive, basically a rainforest that is presently very, very green and beautiful this late spring. And to arrive here in this vastly different place. Got off the airplane. I realized kind of for the first time how ungrounded I felt. And to me, ungrounded was like, kind of like, am I like really here? Like, is this really happening? There's no time to, there, we didn't make time, I guess, to ground or connect with the, the land, the environment, and you can't. I mean, how, you're at, when you're at a, an airport, it's all just bustle and moving, and there's not a lot of, there's no awareness about, I just landed here. Is there a place I, I can just pause and feel the land? and feel this new environment with my body before I'm just off to the next thing. And I think that's going to be a, yeah, the future of travel as we become more sensitive to what and who we are and our connection with the land and the earth and each other is building into our, every part of our lives, but our travels as well this slowing down and this taking a pause before moving on to the next thing. And so I only just now, it's been hours, we've been here for hours, I took a nap, I was feeling, and still have feelings of overwhelm in certain ways. There's a lot coming up for me being here in this amazing place. And isn't that part of traveling too that we don't talk about, or I don't hear talked about is, yeah, it was a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot on my nervous system in so many ways to be in a new place, in a new environment. But my body feels softer now. And I'm sure for me, it's because I decided to walk up this short trail solo in this case, where I can really most freely be myself right now and follow my inclinations without reservation. And yeah, I just danced. I just danced. And when I danced, when I danced is when I felt connected here. It's when it switched from slightly dissociated, like, okay, I'm here, but this, <laughs> this, is all, this jumble of things. I just landed in the desert and I'm totally ungrounded and driving the car, not so safe. <laughs> <laughs> to, I feel softer in my body. I felt a visceral sense of connection with this rock and with all the different directions around here. It's almost like I was pulling them in through my body and feeling it all through my body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what if we danced when we arrived somewhere? Danced with the land. <laughs> and this is just an invitation idea, amusing. This is not a... This is what we must do every time, and it's a whole thing we have to follow now. No, <laughs> we don't need that. We don't need that. Do you need that? I don't need that. <laughs> but I like this. I like being here. I'm here. We're here. We're here. We're here on Earth. And I'm very blessed to be traveling right now to be connecting with this different land, this different landscape, this different energy. And it's fast and it's beautiful. And I'll be excited in the next few videos after this to continue to share what we do, what we find, what we channel, how we connect, what comes alive through me to share and connect with you. 
in this way. And I, I feel, I still, I feel awkward. I feel, <laughs> who am I, you know, who am I to talk to you? And yet, y'all are so loving. Y'all are so, so loving. And I read, I read your comments and I'm still getting used to being loved in this way and being recognized because for years, for years I've had inclinations towards, I think I have something to offer. And then so much doubt, so much uncertainty, so much shame. And this is all changing now, and I'm still getting used to it. So, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. I want to cry and scream and hug myself in a tight little ball and feel your love. Shall we hug? <laughs> Mwah. That was a kiss on the cheek for those of you who like that. <laughs> All right. Blessings. See you in the next video.